Hey there, Bible Buddies. I've got another Bible review for you today. And you can probably tell what this one is. Uh, if not from the box, then probably from the thumbnail that you clicked on. <laughs> uh, but what I'm going to be reviewing today is an NASB uh, 95 edition uh, done by Skyler in the Quintel line. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. We'll get right into it. So you have this nice uh, matte finished box. Very well done. You have a gold foil Jerusalem cross there. Very beautiful. Uh, on the sides, there is nothing except... Uh, Skyler Bibles on the top, and then Quintel NASB Black Goat Skin on the bottom. You can see a little ridge here, kind of a little notch there to get your finger to open the box. Uh, there's nothing on the back. It's clean. This is a very nice box design, uh, very elegant. Um, it does come with uh, two sheets of paper here, craft white craft paper to kind of uh, maintain your yap and just you know kind of keep the Bible uh, minty fresh, right? Uh, you do get a little card from Evangelical Bible whenever you order from them. High gloss card. A little bit of information about where the Bibles are published. Uh, well, like information on where they're sourced. I guess some of the materials are sourced from. You also get this little card. If I can get it out. Let's try and get it out. There we go. And this is just a little card kind of explaining more about their Bibles. Just want to read that. Nothing on the back. So, let's take a look. Uh, I will say this is a, clam, a, a clamshell box right that's what they call it a clamshell box because it's like a clam that opens and closes uh, i do not like clamshell boxes uh my argument is let me get this clip right here so it might the white balance won't be thrown off my argument is that like if you're if you ever close this box and this this tab ends up going on the inside uh i guess there's a very slight risk that you could scratch the guilt on your bible and that would be a tragedy would it not um i prefer to scratch my guilt like actually using it you know what i mean like if i'm if i'm open and i'm reading and like the rain falls on it or like, you know, I'm, I'm flipping to find a verse and my fingernail catches it. Uh, that's one thing I'm cool with that because I was, it was in use, but like if I'm just closing the box and it scratches my guilt, I'm going to be mighty upset. Uh, so I certainly prefer two, two piece boxes instead of one piece boxes. Uh, just my preference. So let's get this out of here. Oh, all, over there. Uh, all right. And we'll take a look at the Bible. So very well done. Very nicely done. This is, um, oof, I, I would argue this is probably one of the best NASPs out there. Um, as far as the, this particular layout is concerned, uh, there's another one I'm going to review here momentarily. I'll probably release in a few weeks after this one, uh, or maybe before, I don't know. Uh, but, um, the, these, these two, I feel like are the, are the kind of heavy hitters. Uh, so we'll take a look at this beautiful black goat skin cover. Oh, I love it. The leather is so wonderful on it. Uh, nice and soft, very flimsy, uh, without being like overly flimsy. It's just the, the right amount. You do have the Jerusalem cross there, um, uh, blind stamped onto the cover. So there's no sort of uh, foil or anything like that. It's just a, a nice kind of a low-key uh, logo there. Now on the perimeter, you do have perimeter stitching. And there's a very nice, uh, tight, and fine stitch there, stitch pattern. It goes over to the spine. And we can see there are these beautiful uh, raised ribs. You do have Holy Bible, New American Standard, and the Skylo logo. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six ribs. Most people only do five, but Skylar manages six. I would love to see a Bible with seven. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, but a very wonderful spine there. On the back cover, you can see that wonderful goat pattern um, on the leather continued. I do love seeing these sort of uh, kind of unique things in the leather. Um, it just reminds me this is leather, not some kind of a man-made product, you know? This is how the, how, the, how the goat was, so to speak. So very well done. Now, as far as the head and tail bands go, they're uh, kind of a nice scarlet red. You can see that we do get three ribbons. Uh, now, you will see kind of an anomaly here, and it seems like every Skylar Bible that I have tends to have this. You can see, like, two ribbons that are folded and then one ribbon that isn't. I prefer unfolded ribbons, like flat ribbons like this, over these folded ribbons. These I find are kind of hard to work with. This is a little easier for me to work with. I don't know why this is a mix and match. Uh, it's just a thing, I guess. Uh, you can see the nice gold gilt there. It looks wonderful, and it is a red under gold art gilt, so you might be able to tell some of that from the reflection there. But a very nicely done gilt. The three ribbons are Beresford's ribbons. Uh, so they are extremely nice, uh, double-sided satin ribbons, very high-quality ribbons, uh, and a nice angle cut there, very cleanly done. So um, I feel like there was something else I was going to show you. Oh, that's what I want to look at sometimes, and I always forget. Uh, so the text block uh, does have ever so slightly kind of a concave shape there to it, uh, very slightly. So let's open it up to the liner. We'll see it does have a beautiful red leather liner, and it does have a red matching end sheet here. It's a synthetic material. It is an edge line Bible, obviously. I mean, um, these are these are expensive, so I wouldn't I wouldn't expect anything less. We'll go ahead and take a look at the corner work there. You can see this one is ever so slightly kind of boogered up there. I don't know what happened, but 
it is what it is. That one's a little nicer. There is the beautiful perimeter line here, the gilt perimeter line, and it is stamped with goatskin leather cover. On the back, there's no stampings, but we do have the corner work that I'll show you guys. And that perimeter line continued. It is a one piece leather liner, which is nice. Very much appreciated for the price. Uh, and we have the end sheet, and then it's glued down to a kind of a cardstock sheet here, a blank cardstock sheet. And then we have your presentation page. Um, I like this portion, right? It looks very nicely done. I'm not a fan of this, um, kind of this sort of pattern. It just looks a little overdone for the Bible. Um, you know, Skylar, I always, I always say Skylar is like the apple of, of Bibles. Um, I hate to compare it to something so like Apple. Um, but what I mean by that is like their, their design is very clean and this just seems kind of out of, out of place to me. Um, this sort of like overly done embellishments. I, I like them. I think they're very nice looking. I just don't think it fits the, the kind of the style of the Bible. Um, personally, my personal opinion, I guess. Um, <laughs> let's go. Let's keep going. Uh, so this is a nice thick cardstock page and we have a marriages cardstock page and a births and deaths page also. And then we have the first title page there, the Holy Bible. Yep. Then we have the Holy Bible, the New American Standard Bible, the second title page there with a little bit of information on the bottom. You can see the Schuyler Bibles logo and some information there, their website. I'm going to turn it. And we have the copyright page. We'll take a look. I'll pause it for you guys so you can read if you're interested. Just some information. Now, this was typeset by Royal Youngblood, uh, not by Royal Youngblood, sorry, by 2K Denmark, uh, and it was uh, produced by uh, Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. Um, so, yeah, just really the best, the best of the best, really. I mean, there's, you, yeah, the best, the Skyler's really the best of the best. That's that's all I can say. Uh, now, you know, they, they have kind of gone down on their GSM, the thickness of their paper. I wish they would have stuck with a 36 GSM, um, but I guess they were trying to thin it out a little bit, so... They've gone with this lighter GSM, and you'll be able to see some of the ghosting here. So there's uh, contents, table of contents there. Then you have the forward, and then you have the uh, all of the kind of associated uh, preface to the NASB 95. Here's an explanation of the general format. Ooh, one, two, or go back, go back. Explanation of the general format. There we go. And then the Old Testament title page. And we have Genesis. You can see this beautiful layout. I'll go ahead and pause it there for you guys so you can just take a look. Very well done. And the footnotes are well done. Let's turn the page and we'll get a better feel for it. So, uh, the way this goes, we have the, uh, we have red accents. I guess right off the bat would be the most noticeable thing. We have red accents for the uh, book name and the chapter numbers in the top corners. Uh, also, the page numbers are in red on the inner and the gutter there. You do have red for the uh, chapter numbers, the large chapter numbers here. Uh, and then you have red for the verse numbers at the bottom and the footnotes. Uh, and there's also a red dividing line here. Uh, those those red, um, those sort of little red highlights, I really appreciate that. They just make, make it so much more visually appealing. Uh, you do have running headers here in black. Uh, you have your footnotes and your, all your cross-references here at the bottom. Uh, the footnotes, interesting to note, is that they're on the outer edge, right? It's not like the just on the right side of each page. They're on the outer edge, uh, which is a little more um, like symmetrical to me. It's a little more uh, visually appealing. So uh, the format is a double uh, double column paragraph format, and the verse numbers are pretty nice and bold. Um, I just was taking a look at the Preacher's Bible, and those those were a little harder to see. These are certainly very easy to, to point out there. This is a very nice, large, readable font. The letting, the spacing between the lines is very well, uh, very well done. And the text does look to be line matched. We'll go ahead and get to the poetic section here. We have Psalms. You see this wonderful cream paper. It's very nice creamy paper. You can see the beautiful red under gold art gilt. It's very well done, evenly applied. Uh, it's a nice kind of deep red color. Definitely gives it a, a level of elegance there. We'll take a look at the text and the show through on the paper. Some samples of it. Uh, now again, this is the thinner paper, the 28 GSM. I wish they would have stuck with the 36 GSM, uh, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. <laughs> so we get what we get and we don't throw a fit, right? Um, but the line matching, you know what? I say line matching. 
No. Yes, it is line matched. I don't know why I paused with that. It is line matched and it looks good and it helps mitigate the show through. Um, but to me, it is it is uh, a noticeable amount of show through. I'll say it that way. It's not. Um, I don't know. I I prefer, especially for the price, I'd prefer to pay a little bit extra uh, and have a thicker paper. That's just me and have less show through. So there is some show through there. It's not it's not the absolute like most uh, show show, show through proofest paper ever. If that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and flip to the New Testament. You have the end of Malachi. I flipped right to it. That's great. You the end of Malachi there. And you have the New Testament title page. And you have the Gospel according to Matthew. Wonderful. You can see all the footnotes and the cross references there. We go to five and six, and we can see that it is a red letter text. Sorry, did I really just say that? <laughs> we can see that it is a black letter text. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been a long day. Um, so you can see that it's a black letter text. Uh, very well done. In the sense that, I don't know, it has, has print uniformity. Very well done. Good job, Skylar. I feel like I, I have to be like the very, like the last person ever to review a Skylar Quintel. I feel like there's probably like a hundred other reviews. So uh, guys, I'm sure there's definitely somebody better out there. Much better review, much more professional review than this one. So I might recommend clicking elsewhere. Uh, but if you enjoy, if you enjoy, uh, this, this kind of, uh, yeah, off the cuff, um, commentary, by all means hit that, hit that like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. So here we have the end of revelation yep. and then we have one blank page and we have the concordance to the new American standard Bible. Yeah. And this, okay. So this is the concordance. I'll go ahead and pull it up for you here so you can see give you a sample of it. Uh, now, what I am going to do is I'm going to take a measurement of the font size of this concordance because it is a quadruple column, um, and it it's just small. The text is, is very small. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll just uh, see if I can grab an M somewhere in here committed right there. And we'll go all the way down. Goodness. Yeah, so this is oh, maybe a six-point in comparison to Times New Roman. So it's a very small font uh, for this concordance. That would be definitely an improvement that they could do is make the concordance text a little bit larger because that's that's pretty small. I'll go ahead and flip to the end of that, the concordance. It's not a super sizable concordance, obviously, <laughs> both in text size and in, in page, number of pages, um, but a decent concordance, I would imagine. And we have the Bible maps title page and you have a list of the bible maps uh i don't know this this i don't think this would be considered a gazetteer this is just a probably more of a map index well i, I don't know i mean i don't know whatever it's a list of all the maps <laughs> uh and then we have the actual maps skylar does a wonderful job of the maps look at this wonderful let me go ahead and turn it here for you one thing i, I always hear everybody mentioning with the skylar maps and i can agree is that I wish that they would have put a little space here, uh, just a little white space, just to kind of um, kind of pull it apart. Because I mean, look at that. You can can you really read Pirathon down in there in the gutter? You know, it's really it's getting down it's getting down in there. Um, so just kind of putting a little bit of space, shrinking down and pulling it out, that'd be that'd be perfect. But the maps are very well done. It's on a matte cardstock, matte, not a matte cardstock. It's on matte paper. Uh, it's thick on the Bible paper, obviously, um, but it's not quite cardstock but it's still a nice thick paper. Uh, and it is matte finished. They are very well done. It's something like a broken record. This whole Bible is well done. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And we have an index. <gasps> Here is the gazetteer. We have an index to the maps. Why didn't they put this in the front? Well, I don't know. Maybe I guess it makes sense. Usually the index goes to the back. But a nice index. The index is on this thicker kind of matte paper, map paper, which is nice. Gazetteer. I should bring the word back. I'm telling you. Then we have a single sheet of that kind of thicker matte paper, matte, matte, well, matte, matte, matte paper. We have one sheet of it, blank. Then we have a thick cardstock sheet there. Two, three, three and a half, right? Because then you have the one sheet that's attached to the end sheet there, the fly leaf. But very well done, Bible. Let's go ahead and get some measurements. So it comes in at. They're in the red corner, uh, about nine and three quarters of an inch, just a hair over. It's 
far as width goes. That's right about six and five eighths of an inch wide. And for thickness, right an inch and a half thick. So pretty decent size Bible, nice hefty guy. Uh, big, easy to read. Let's go ahead and get a measurement on the text. We'll start with the uppercase. Uh, we'll use the Z in Zadok. Why not, right? And it appears in comparison to a Times New Roman. It appears to be like a ten and a half point font for the uppercase. And we'll use the M and them. Go to ten and a half point. Ooh, it's bigger there. Much bigger. Oh yeah, much better. Mm, looks to be about a 13 point font in the lower case in comparison to Times New Roman. So very large readable font for sure. Um, if you have problems with your eyes or if you're a preacher and you want kind of a larger text to preach from while it's on the pulpit, uh, or if you just want something comfortable to read, I would definitely recommend this. I know sometimes people complain about having the cross references at the bottom because you have to kind of bounce up and down uh, versus like if they're just in the center column, you kind of look over. Um, that would just be something to consider before you buy it because this is a pretty pricey Bible, pretty pricey edition. So Bible buddies, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, if you want any, uh, special comparisons to this, I don't know. Uh, if you have anything, please, uh, leave them down below. If you could please like comment, subscribe. Um, if you want to see this compared to other NASBs, I have a video that I did with a, a Lockman 2020 edition. Um, I'll go ahead and post a card right here or maybe on the end screen. Um, and then I'll have quite a few comparisons between the Skylar and some other, uh, editions. It'll give you probably a better comparison instead of the dragging on for another few minutes. Cause I tend to ramble, uh, Bible buddies until next time. Bye.